It's that time of year and Download Festival is right around the corner. If you're a seasoned Download veteran like me, you've probably got your routine down to a T. But for those who maybe haven't been to Download before, I've decided to put together a nice little survival guide for you, as a treat. Because nobody in the history of YouTube has ever made anything even close to an informative preparatory video on music festivals. I did the research, you can trust me. First of all, you're going to want to get yourself a nice tent. A tent that will make all the other campers jealous, one with enough room for oh so many activities. But beware the bargain bucket tents. Double skin and good waterproof rating is the way to go. Single skin tents are rubbish, less waterproof, and probably voted for the Nazis. Whereas the double skin will protect you from the great hose in the sky, along with the hose of the drunk guy that mistook your tent for the portaloo. Next up, you're going to need a decent chair. A good chair can mean the difference between a lovely, comfortable weekend sitting in a field, or being impaled on a broken pile of cheap £10 Tesco metal rods with a flimsy piece of fabric now tickling the back of your throat. If you can find one with a cup holder, all the better. You can store your boost directly in it for easy access. For those of you who like sleep, and I know there's at least 15 of you out there, I would recommend taking an inflatable mattress for a luxurious night of floating 6 inches above the piss-soaked ground, until 4am when you have to reinflate it. On the subject, be sure to take an electric or a foot pump with you. Lungs are useful, but should only be used for this if you want to get to sleep a lot quicker. If you're like me, and I know I am, then you'll just love not dying of starvation or thirst. Download Festival will have many food vendors, mostly cashless, for you to spend your money on delicious morsels, and become cashless yourself. For those of you without a house to remortgage, consider taking your own grub and making yourself a bang-up meal of beans and beans with a side of beans on bread. The co-op will also be on site to take your hard-earned money, but in a much more reasonable manner. Seriously, the sandwich meal deal is the tits. They will have lots of water points for you to get your H2O on, alongside many stalls and well-stocked bars for those wanting a more fermented experience. But you can also take your own drinks to the campsites and village, so be sure to stock up on anything you may want beforehand. And remember kids, everybody likes a drink, but nobody likes a drunk. So drink responsibly, and don't spill any. Don't you just hate it when you run out of juice? Unfortunately, that's much more likely to happen when you're sat in a field in Derbyshire for three to five days straight. So if you want to keep connected to the outside world, or play Battlefront 2 in your tent, then you're going to need some portable power banks. There will be stalls selling preloaded chargers at the festival, but it's much more frugal to buy your own and charge it before you get there. Plus, you don't need to worry about returning it after it runs out of power. So get yourself a portable power bank and get out there and defeat the Empire. Fields can be smelly and dirty, but that doesn't mean that you have to be. Don't forget to take your toothbrush, deodorant, and assorted hygienical products. Communal showers will be available on site, for free, gulag style. Line up to get close and personal with your festival brethren and compliment each other's physique. Or take some wet wipes and dry shampoo. There is no dress code at Download Festival, despite what many may wish, and you can feel free to express yourself in any way you would like. However, this is England, and we must always be mindful of the fickle, and sometimes fuckle, weather. Taking wellies and walking boots is always a must, no matter the weather. And a pair of waterproof trousers and a coat will never go amiss if the heavens open up and download becomes drownload. Music festivals are loud, very loud. It's neither cool nor hip to go deaf prematurely, so get yourself some earplugs and take the edge off the boom boom screamy. They are also useful for when you're sleeping next to an asthmatic elephant who drank too much last night. You'll thank me later, and not in sign language. Finally, you are ready. All of your training has led you here, to one of the biggest and best music festivals the UK has to offer. So get out there, have fun, stay safe, and dance the night away.